Hi guys, it's Winifred and I am back because I am so curious about this um, Missy Lynn color, lip color, Cloud 9. And um, I just want to try it with a few of the lip pencils that I think will go with it. So let's play around. I first want to try it with um, Max Plum Lip Liner. This is the lip liner that I go to for all of my pinky mauvey nude ellipse so let's see how this would work okay now i've put my um laying low um paint pot on my lips to kind of even out the redness okay so this is just my all all time go to nude kind of color. Now, I, I want to say that a while ago, this color used to be a little bit more brown. Um, I don't know what's happened, but to me, it seems like it used to be a little bit more brown. I could be wrong, but all right. Now, this is with Max, ah! <laughs> Max Plum Lip Liner. And you know, you could just keep playing with it a little bit to change the color up. Now I'm liking this. It's not as neat as it would be if I was, um, you know, actually making it up to go someplace, but I'm not, so. Okay, so that's what it would look like if I wanna keep it kind of a, more in a plummy pink kind of look. And then, of course, I would always top it, well, not always, Sometimes top it with a little bit of a, a little bit of a gloss, but I don't have any right here with me. So this is the lip with the plum, and then of course here's your other. Let's try this one. This is an old lip pencil, guys, from Mac that I've had for years. It's silver. Okay, so that goes to show you how old it is. Um. Uh, and it's called stone. So this will bring out more of that gray -y tone, if you will. But I even like this with it. See, I think this is one of those colors you can make it kind of look like Not whatever you want, but you can make it look pretty darn close to whatever you want. And I like it with the stone. Now that stone takes that, cools that plum lip liner out a little bit. And if you want to, and this is just changing everything by adding a lip pencil. If you want to make it a little bit more of a brownie, pink, you can add a brown lip liner. And guys, it doesn't have to be MAC. It could be anything. It could be NYX's, any brown pencil. I mean, a generic. Any brown pencil would do. And it just kind of changes up the color a little bit. Now, there you go with this. Now, hang tight. I'm going to get a couple of glosses because it just doesn't seem right. 
without messing with the glosses. So hang tight for a second, guys. Let me go grab some glosses. Okay, guys, so I have this deadish color, lavender gray color on that I've kind of warmed up a little bit. The last lip liner that I put on was like a brownish shade. You can top that with any kind of uh, sparkly gloss, lip glass, or any other. It doesn't have to be a MAC. Um, Lancome has those beautiful juicy tubes with all of those lovely sparkles in them. And Dior has the same thing. Just anybody. Sephora's does too. This one is um, ooh, Rags to Riches. And this is a sparkly kind of a lip glass. I'm going to put this one on first just to see what it looks like. And you all tell me if you like it. Because I, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, this is, looks like it's popping to me. This is Max Rags to Riches on top of Missy, Lynn, Missy Lynn's Cloud 9. I'm liking this. This is a perfect sparkly pink nude lip. Like that. That's going to be a combo that I'm going to be rocking, guys. So, this is what I mean. I get all hyped up when I play in my own lipstick. Isn't that something? Okay. Hmm. I even like that when I kind of dab it off, right? Okay, I'm going to tap just put on a little bit more of this. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I'm thinking that there's not going to be anything better than this Rags to Riches. And I'm sure you can probably find a um, lip gloss if... I want to say this is still sold. I want to say this color by MAC is still sold. Not sure. Um... And this one is, oh, I can't even, Ice Love, Ice, I can't make that out, but I'm going to be sure to include it. This is kind of a pink, yeah, it's frosty. This one is frosty. It's got the doe foot applicator. Ah, okay. This has a little iridescence. I'm liking that too. I always, when it has that doe foot applicator, I always wipe it off because I don't want to contaminate the color in the container. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, this could be achieved with any kind of um, dual chrome tone, dual chrome tone, dual chrome lip gloss. I think this is pretty too. Tell me what you think guys. Just if you don't want that um, too dry of a lip look. And I got one more I'm going to pop on and this is uh, um, wow this is a cream sheen. I don't know. Cream sheens to me are very very sheer. They don't do too much except maybe to um, Add a little shine. So, whereas those other colors added some gloss, some dual tone, and all this other kind of thing. So, let's just see. Uh, what this is going to do. And this is more of a pinky color, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The cream sheens, they do nothing but give you shine. So, I would say for what this particular product does, if you do not have it, you don't need to get it. Because I think that this could be achieved by adding any kind of gloss and it could be achieved with a 99 cent gloss, quite truthfully. So, no, I wouldn't go break your back to get that um I gotta tell you guys uh, my favorite is rags to riches and I'm liking this one too 
so I'll include them in the down bar below and I just wanted you all to see what we can do with that Missy Lynn Cloud 9 and then I think I'm going to play around with the Serenity maybe tomorrow because that too was another light lipstick that I would not wear on its own. Mm -mm. This one I wouldn't wear on its own either nor would I wear the Serenity on its own. Um, yeah, not a me kind of a lip. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to you real soon. Don't forget to um, comment below. I'm loving those. Don't forget to su subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay guys, I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.